The Tiergarten, a huge park in the heart of Berlin, draws tourists and locals alike. The victory column can be seen for miles around. Kerstin Flügge takes guests to see these and other attractions on sightseeing tours in her 1969 Mercedes convertible. A special feature is that you experience the city in its entirety in an open-top vehicle. You enjoy a panoramic view and you don't have a roof or pillars blocking your view. You get a completely different impression of the buildings and the city's beauty. Kerstin Flügge tailors her tours to meet her guests' wishes and meets them at their desired location. Ellen Bell and Werner Baumgarten are waiting at the Brandenburg Gate. The couple from North Rhine-Westphalia have been wanting to visit Berlin for a long time. I'm thrilled to be here in such a nice car in Berlin. It doesn't get any better than this. They head off to explore the nearby government district. En route, they pass by the Holocaust Memorial and the Soviet War Memorial. Then the Reichstag comes into view. The German parliament's glass dome was designed by architect Norman Foster. The Reichstag, the seat of the German parliament, was opened in 1905. Kaiser Wilhelm II called it a talking shop, as he didn't think much of parliamentarianism or the democratic developments in Germany. As you can see, the building didn't look that much different before, but it was badly damaged. Across from the Reichstag lies the German Chancellery. It's one of the world's largest government headquarters, much larger than the White House. Their next destination is Museum Island in Berlin's historic center. The complex, comprised of the Bode Museum, Pergamon, the Altes and Neues Museum, and the Alte Nationalgalerie, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Museum Island is one of the world's largest museum ensembles. The island itself is home to five museums, the bust of Nefertiti and the Pergamon Altar. Behind us there is the Berlin Cathedral, burial place and house church of the Hohenzollerns. The Lust Garden rounds off the ensemble. Gendarmermont boasts of another of Berlin's impressive architectural ensembles. It features the Konzerthaus and the French and German churches. The square is one of the prettiest in Germany. Kerstin Flügge is next headed for Checkpoint Charlie, the famous crossing point in the once divided city. Some dramatic escape attempts also took place here. It's regrettable that the city still hasn't revamped this place. They can't agree on what to do with it, as what occurred here happened at a very sensitive time. It was quite traumatic, especially for Berlin residents. No visit to the German capital would be complete without an original Berlin Currywurst. Hertha Heuwe is credited with inventing this curried sausage back in 1949. The secret is in the ketchup. There are different varieties in the city, but this is a good place to take a break. Opinions vary as to where Berlin's best caribers can be found around the city, but this one's pretty good. It tastes great. Few visible traces remain that show Berlin was once a divided city, but on Niederkirchnerstrasse, a section of the Berlin Wall still stands today. At Potsdamer Platz, Berlin shows off its modern side with high rises over 100 meters tall. It's hard to believe that this was once no man's land where the Berlin Wall stood. Now it's the end of today's tour. It was a wonderful tour, a great day. I think we'll just have to do it again because Berlin's so big. I loved it. Berlin's such a fabulous city. It was fascinating. We'll definitely do it again. But for now, they're off to enjoy an espresso in one of the German capital's many cafes. <laughs>